we're here at the opening night of Greece. You look incredible. Thank you. Thank you so much. I have to go for the 50s thing. <laughs> so hi, you're from the Wiggles. Are you a big fan of Greece? Oh, absolutely. When I was little, that was the only movie I'd watch with my pops, so it's great. So you know all the moves? I know all the moves. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a favourite song from Greece? Oh, goodness. I feel like Summer Nights is perfect. Yes! I'm really excited because my dad's here, so we get to watch it together, so I'm looking forward to it. Oh, so he probably watched Greece with you when you were a little one? Oh, 100%. Yeah, definitely. Well, Saha, you look absolutely incredible. It was so good to see you. Have a great night. Good to see you, Elizabeth. Mark Vincent, we're here at the opening night of Greece. How are you? Oh, I'm very excited. Greece is one of my favourite musicals. Of course, a John Frost production. I'm very excited to see this. And look, I mean, so you've got a seasoned cast here. So to see this show come back, you know, I would say probably every six, seven years, it's a show that will never come out of date. And you can see I've worn my gold jacket. I'm trying to look like Teen Angel, probably have, have failed that a little bit. But, um, you know, with the hair going, my wife and I are very excited. And like I said, it's going to be a great night. I just have to, I, I told you before, you're, you look incredible. Can you tell me more about this jacket? Well, look, only a few people can pull it off, but um, no, just, after three kids, I start to hallucinate a bit. No, no, but um, my lovely mother bought me this jacket for Christmas, and you can rest assured, every performance I do, this jacket gets a lot of compliments. So I thought, being opening night, um, I thought this would fit the occasion. But like I said, I'm very thrilled to be here. We're honoured to be part of you know, this amazing show. We can't wait to watch it. But you know what? You are a teen angel. You've released so many albums and lots of concerts. Must be nice to sit in the audience sometimes. One thousand percent. For many reasons, you know, having three kids at home, being on the road a lot. It's nice to just enjoy a night with my beautiful wife and watch some real music. And like I said, music that, in my opinion, Frankie Valley really kick-started. You know, and it's music that, would, like I said, it's timeless. It will never come out of date, so I can't wait to see tonight. I'm very excited. Do you have a favourite Grease song? Look, I think it's that famous John Travolta, Living Newton John Duet. I got chills, they're multiplying. <laughs> you know, it's it's one of those songs that just get people up on their feet. So, um, like I said, I'm just thrilled to be watching it tonight, and I can't wait to start cracking a little bit of dance moves with this gold jacket. <laughs> Katrina Redelick, how are you? Hello, so nice to see you. It's so good to see you. Last time I saw you was also the Spelling Bee. How are you going tonight? You're looking forward to Greece? Oh, so much. It's one of my all-time favourite shows. So I played Frenchie a long time ago, so to see a new generation. Really? Which production? Oh, it was in the tent, in the big top, on tour. Oh, that's incredible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, all the hits. Can't wait. What's your favourite song? Oh, I, I love the opening. Just that energy from da 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 Love it. <laughs> oh, and all the others. It's so good to see you. Have a great night. Caitlin Berry, we're here for the opening night of Greece. You look incredible. Thank you. I'm wearing my mom's dress. Really? Vintage. Yes, thanks, Mom. What are you looking forward to with Greece? I'm really looking forward to the hand drive and the um, and the gym seat. Do you know any of the hand drive movements? Grease Lightning. Grease Lightning. What's your favourite song in the show? Um, I think it'd be um, Hopelessly Devoted. Hopelessly Devoted. Oh, there are worse things. The girls in this show are going to be amazing. The girls have the best songs. They do. They do. Kuro, here we are at the Greece opening night. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm really good. So you're back in Sydney, but you've been travelling with Hamilton for the last, what, year and a half? I have been, yeah, for since 2020. I've been going since 2021. So just come back from Abu Dhabi and now we're off to Singapore in a couple of weeks. Did you also go to New Zealand as well? Yeah, New Zealand, Manila, Abu Dhabi, Singapore, Brisbane, everywhere. It's been great. What was it like travelling overseas with the very first international and the very first Australian company of Hamilton? It's been the best. We've, we've had a 50% Australian company and American company, so we got to meet a lot of great new people. Uh, we've, had a, we've had a great time. Telling a story that's, you know, uh, that's so accessible for the, rest of, for the whole world to the rest of the world. It's been great. And 
know you're coming back to a Sydney exclusively from July. Are you excited to come back? I can't. I cannot wait to be home. Every time I come back to Sydney, I'm like absolutely thrilled to be back. Back with family, back with friends, back at these beautiful venues. So yeah, it's amazing. Now, of course, Hamilton is only new, but Greece has been around for a while. Are you a big Greece fan? Who is not a big Greece fan? We all love it. We all love a fun, fun laugh, great music, fun costumes, fun stories, fun characters we all know and love. And there's a reason why it's so successful. It's loved by everyone. Do you have a favourite song? Oh, no, no, I love all of it. I love all of it. It depends on my mood. Do I feel like an emotional ballad? Do I feel like an up-tempo dance number? It just depends on my vibe. I can't pick a favourite. You can't pick a favourite. You look incredible tonight. Thank you very much. Must be nice wearing all black for a change. It's nice not being parchment. We're always in parchment. <laughs> well, look, you go on tour again. Have an incredible tour, and we can't wait to see you in Sydney up here at the Sister Theatre at Lyric Theatre. Thank you very much. <laughs> Capital Theatre in Sydney. Tin Minchin, oh my god, my camera didn't work <laughs> before because I think it's excited as like I am. Welcome back to Australia. How are you? I'm really good, thanks. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> yeah. You've recently been in Sydney because I know you went up to Hayes Theatre to see Zombie the Musical made by Laura Murphy. What did you think of that? Have we got good talent in Australia or what? I think Laura is a huge talent. I've seen all three of her musicals. I've seen The Lovers, I've seen The Dismissal and now I've seen Zombies. I think well, I, I got to have coffee with her last week and discuss everything about creating musicals in Australia and what we're going to do to make sure there's more development and support. I just want to say congratulations. You've come back. Groundhog Day, we named Cast Album of the Month. I haven't been down to see it. Hopefully it will come back to Australia. But what was it like to go to your spiritual home? Your spiritual home in Melbourne? Oh, it was great. I mean, having a show open in Australia always feels special to me. Especially because my sense of humour and my worldview is so laced into it, especially Groundhog Day, which is really a show about how to live life, how to live a better life. And because my sense of humour is so in it, Australian audiences just get it in a way, like British audiences get it too, American, but it, it, there's just something about how it lands that you're like, they're getting every joke and every reverence. And so it's been a huge honour. And Melbourne is great. Oh, I mean, there's this bullshit <laughs> Melbourne, Sydney thing. I, I won't have a bar of it. It's all great. More theatre. Well, of course, I was here when you debuted Matilda the Musical here in Sydney at Lyric Theatre. Congratulations on that as well. And it's the same creative team that helped you launch Groundhog Day. Yeah, that's right. Same director, same designer, same Chris Nightingale, my um, music supervisor, orchestrator. Like, finding that team, I walked into that team. They'd already been walking together, working together for 10 years. And I just walked into that experience and it completely changed my life. So, yeah. I loved the way I found out of how they approached you for Matilda. Was it the same with Groundhog? Well, Groundhog Day, Matthew, the director, just rang me and said, what should we do next? I was thinking Groundhog Day and I said yes. Did he ring you the next day and ask you again? <laughs> Have a great night. It was so good to see you. Pleasure. Congratulations on everything and thank you for making musicals in Australia. We absolutely love you here. Have a great night tonight. Thank you, you too.